good morning dear my kids today we are going to learn new lesson inside the system unit here you can see which points are we are going to learn we are learn, going to learn about various components of cpu and describe the functions of components then after we are going to explore some main computer memory and its type and we are going to identify some storage devices such as secondary and main storage devices as well now we are having some hardware softwares which are used in our computers as like hardware cd dvd ram hard and so on softwares as like there are different two types of softwares are there application software and system software so you can carry out with any softwares for it as like first here we are going to learn about components of cpu which are very important components of CPUs are right here. You can see in this diagram, the computer fan is there, processor is below inside of that one part, which is placed downside of the CPU, of the computer fan, right the ports are right there. As like you can see, VGA port, USB port, LAN port is right there, RG45, then motherboard is also right there, the whole one part of plastic dashboard, now here components of CPU, the different components of CPUs are processor, main memory, secondary memory, CD DVD drive, power supply, computer fan, ports and motherboard. Now let us turn and let me describe these important points. Means well and often in this one case of desktop computers people confuse the CPU with the cabinet or system unit. However, the CPU or processor is small chip which is placed on the motherboard inside the system unit. You can see processor it is placed at the downside of the computer fan. Here it is very important part. Processor also mainly known as in form of brain of our computer. Without this one part, we cannot work very properly. It's very important part of our unit. Then it takes the input from an input devices and process it as per instruction and send it the result to the output devices. Uh, like modern computers have a small CPU chip known as microprocessor and that perform all functions of a CPU on a single integrated circuit. I see the speed of processor is measured in gigahertz which is higher the speed of computer and faster for the execution also that is an use of CPU well with the help of CPU we can work our task we can work our different types of application very fastly as like here are some main memory it is the area where program and data instructions in used are to store on it the main memory computer is divided in two parts as RAM, random access memory and ROM, read only memory. Random access memory or AM is used to store data and program that are being executed or used by the CPU. The data is stored temporarily in the RAM till the time is saved on the hard disk drive. That is why RAM is also known as volatile memory and the amount of data can be used stored as ram is measured by megabyte and gigabyte you can see nowadays you can purchase ram till up to the 60 32 gb as per your charge you can first purchase it actually and ram is volatile memory means jab tak aapka computer start hai tab tak wo ram ki memory continuous use mein rahegi else as like if you are using different different types of application as like suddenly you are using music, suddenly you are using different types of applications. So you can go for application as like you can go for different memory from RAM. It will allocate to it. Next one part is for read only memory. ROM. It is used to hold the instructions that executed when computer entirely switched on. These instructions are used to start the computer and the ROM data is not erased when the power is switched off therefore is also known as non-volatile memory as like 
रीड ओनली मेमोरी ये कंप्यूटर की मेमोरी प्री इंस्टॉल मैन्युफैक्चर से ही आती है इसके अंदर डेटा प्री इंस्टॉल हो जाता है जैसा आपका कंप्यूटर स्टार्ट होता है स्टिल मेमोरी बाय उस मेमोरी वे से वो स्टार्ट हो जाती है जनरली द प्रोग्राम स्टोर्ड इन द रोम आर प्री रिटर्न फॉर द मैन्युफैक्चर एज लाइक सम रोम्स आर राइट देयर दैट इट कैन बी रीज विद द प्रोग्रामर्स वी कैन गो फॉर इट बट इट्स वेरी डेंजरस फॉर इट फॉर आवर सी पी यू द डिफरेंट रोम टाइप्स आर पी रोम ई पी रोम डबल ई पी रोम एंड सो ऑन एज लाइक पी आर रोम एज प्रोग्रामेबल रेड ओनली मेमोरी इस टाइप ऑफ रोम विच प्रोग्राम्स कैन बी स्टोर इन टाइट लिंग ओनली वर्ल्ड विच इज कैनॉट बी इरेज्ड देन ई पी रोम इरेजेबल प्रोग्रामेबल रीड ओनली मेमरी एंड डबल ई पी रोम इलेक्ट्रिकली प्रोग्रामेबल रीड ओनली मेमरी दिस टाइप्स ऑफ रोम डिवाइसिस कैन बी इरेज एंड रीप्रोग्राम बाय मल्टीपल टाइम्स मीन्स ई पी रोम्स एंड डबल ई पी रोम्स यू कैन गो फॉर इट अगेन एंड अगेन यू कैन रीप्रोग्राम इट एंड यू कैन गो फॉर इट दैन ई पी रोम इज रिक्वायर अल्ट्रा वॉलेट रेज टू इरेज द कंटेंट एंड वाइल्ड कंटेंट इज गॉन डबल ई पी रोम इट कैन यूज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिग्नल्स फॉर जस्ट इरेज इट और रिराइट फॉर इट देन सेकेंडरी मेमरी एज लाइक विच devices are memory usable which we can remove from our computer as like you can see hard disk is there pen drive is there cd is there you can just use as in form of secondary memory device jisse aap remove bhi kar sakte ho use ke liye aap plug in bhi kar sakte ho that is called secondary memory secondary memory ka wahi use hota hai it is stored data permanently on it till to user is gone deleted from his or her own side that is called as secondary memory that device can be removed and non removable also the operating system of the computer application and files are created by user generally stored on hard disk drive which is placed inside of our cpu nowadays you can get some hard disk drive which are portable you can remove it also from cpu you can see now cd dvd drives cd means compact disk DVD means digital versatile disk which are used by CD and DVD writer for writing data of some place or data on it also power supply SMPS switched mode power supply and PUS power supply unit with the help of these things only our CPU get start with the help of power and electricity already we knows that cpu or computer is a electronic device with the help of electricity only it can get worked so power supply is needed so our smps is working for the power supplier on it as like computer fan as like excessive heating of computer parts can damage them means obviously while our computer gets started our cpu is also start turn on his heating so making it cool down our computer part also making it cool down we are having computer fan with the help of this thing our computer parts and cpu is also getting is cool down with the help of this cpu fan then ports at the back of the cpu there are some many types of ports which are called sockets also and ports as well these are used to connect some external devices such like as a mouse keyboards and so on you can see right here there are some power supply port is right there with the help of this our port we can plug start our power supply to it ps2 ports as like old computers there were ps2 ports where we can use to plug in our keyboard and mouse cable vga port as like old time we have we was having an vga port where monitor cables are placed now we are having hdmi port for it usb port usb port specially you can pour, plug it right there your pen drives memory card readers pen drive portable pen drives right are there then rj45 plug then audio ports right there then motherboard the motherboard contains the different parts of a computer directly or indirectly with processor this is the main part of our computer motherboard 
that it is the thin plate that holds the processor and other components and it provides electrical connection by which the other components of system can be communicated. If our motherboard is only not there then our CPU does not get work, it will not get started only because this is the part and this is the physical part where the all things are placed. So my dear kids, what we learned today? First, we started with our different components of our CPU with its names. Then after CPU information, central processing unit with its major of is processing high speed as in form of gigahertz and there are different different types of circuits are right there a IC which is placed on our circuit boards of another processor then after we learnt about main memory as in two type RAM read only as like random access memory then after we learnt about ROM read only memory here we can then after we just saw about the secondary memory secondary memory is in form of uh, the memory which is removable or which is placed inside of our computer as well we can see hard disk drive where our operating system is also store pen drive cd for carrying out our data from one place to another place then after we learn about power supply SMPR switched mode power supply which is providing us and power to our main motherboard then computer fan which is making our computer parts cool down for it then after ports as in form of USB, PS2, VGA, audio ports and power supply port and then after the important part about motherboard this is the main part of our computer system where all the instructions are saved so thank you my dear kids I think so I don't till to the fourth stand no or third yes till to the fourth ah.